And welcome back to Minecraft episode 239. We are looking for reeds. And we have found a really awesome location. Out in negative 1,500, roughly. So you can mark that one down when you finally get this map. That that's where it is. We also found a cool clay deposit. And I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here. And dig all this clay out so I have brick to spare for Donation Island. So I'm going to make some really good houses using the brick. And obviously the materials that are harder to get and are more valuable because they are rare are going to be reserved for the houses of the higher donators. It's just the way it is. That almost looks like mismatched chunk data, but I'll take it as a floating island. That one is definitely a floating island. Um, but the rest of this stuff, I don't know. Ooh, it's nighttime. Can I find a sheep? Can I get a sheep? I don't really feel like running around at night time like this. I just want some reeds, man. I know they're back at the spawn. That's where I'm headed, but I found, a, you know, awesomeness out here, and it just keeps... <laughs> wow. At least those coordinates are easy to remember. Negative 1,500. Simple, right? That's not all that far from the base, which I am completely avoiding the compasses directions. That's just because I'm looking for sheep. Just one or two. If I had shears, it'd be better, but I'm going to have to kill three sheep to get a bed. At least I can guarantee it, right? Is this more floating islands? What the heck is all this now? You kidding me? What happened to this map generator, man? It's like... Oh, crap. It's like falling apart here. Oi. <clears throat> I had the, the potential to be killed out here. Oh, crap. Now, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Because I remember in one of the recordings I didn't publish, I, was, I almost fell into this on the way through. But uh, I have to get to some safety. I just can't be running around at night like that without any health food. Oh, this eye... Just rubbing it. <clears throat> so let's see if we can't. I only got to be down here. I'm going to watch my compass as soon as day breaks. I'm coming back up to the surface. But in the meantime, we'll check out what's down here. See if there's anything of interest. Let's jump down here. Light it up. Whoa, that was bad. I'm trying to itch my nose. I've got sinus problems now. It's itching everywhere all over my face. <laughs> The air pressure must be changing to accommodate for the rain we're supposed to get today. And would you put the torch already, please? Thank you. You're also listening to the very long song, which is actually a medley of a couple of songs I've made in the past. Uh, it, it all happened to be around the same BPM and key signature. Let's see what we got over here. It's kind of kind gonna try to kind of stay close to the pit. I hate putting torches on resources, man, because then if I want to dig them out, I destroy the torch and make it dark and just, that's stupid. Wow, this is massive. Hello, creeper. Would you like an arrow in the face? Thought so. Good of you to join the party. And you're dead. How do you like that? These guys make me so angry. But not as angry as skeletons. Creepers, I'm actually cool with because they have one purpose and one purpose only. Explode. All they, that's all they need to do. But these skeletons show signs of intelligence and make your life a real real hardship. I also wonder if there's ever going to be any slimes, man. You make pistons, and the only logical way to get them is to cheat because slimes are too scarce. Slimes should always generate near lava pools at the bottom of the world. It shouldn't be this random chunk bullcrap. Because if you get a random chunk that you can't reach the cave to, all you have to listen for is the fapping. And that doesn't work. So I really think that uh, slime generation should be increased now to accommodate for the new item, which is really awesome. It doesn't matter whether or not people know how or, or use them at all. The fact of the matter is that you're making them too hard to get. And you're forcing people to make mods that make things easier or completely break the game. 
You know, that, that's what happened, Notch. That's why all this modding crap is going on, and I know you don't particularly care for it, but you did it to yourself, because you didn't balance the game before you decided to add a bunch of crap to it. But uh, at the same time, we have to remember that it is not just game. He can do what he wants, but he should really make more slimes appear. I would like that very much. Because I happen to like pistons. And I have a lot of plans for them, including uh, Pandora 2. You know there's going to be piston action in Pandora 2. I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. Pandora 2 is going to make full use of pistons. And it is just going to be sweet. And where are these zombies at? Over there, I see. I'm just dig a little way in there and find out. Ah, here we go. It wasn't that far at all. Alright, zombie. There's the skeleton. This skeleton's not going to get me. Ooh, that one was too close. <laughs> that was almost a headshot. Okay. Figure I might as well do a speed run through this cave while I'm here, right? You're dead! Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, is this the pit? Yeah, I think so. Well, it didn't kill him, but wow, it does go all the way down. And now you're really dead! Kind of. What happened? He didn't fall into the lava. That skeleton sure will. Ow. Me without an ear. Oh, he pushed him in! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's great, man. Reminds me of multiplayer when people are just shoving people around and everything goes to crap. Alright, well, we're not gonna go that way because that's death. We'll go this way, though, because it's less potential for death. I do need more torches, though. Completely out of those. Sneak into the corner here so we have good range of vision. And make some torches. Oh, yeah, because I'm still rocking the wood. I'm not too worried about that. I do want to lava f liquefy this gravel I'm carrying, but at the same time, I might take it back to the home base for extra resources. I'll grab this iron while I'm here, because it's almost daytime, and we got to get out of this cave and get the reeds. This, this quest for paper has turned into a really, really painful one. I mean, I could always make a chest somewhere, mark the location, kill myself, and then go back to the chest, because I have to go to the, uh, if I can't find reeds along the way, I'm going to have to, I'm going to end up at the spawn anyway, where I know I have reeds. But, that's kind of cheap. It's not cheating at all. It's just a cheap fix, because, I don't know, I kind of like to stay alive in this game. I don't want to just kill myself as a random solution for, you know, a problem I have. Killing yourself does not solve your problems. <laughs> okay? Whether Minecraft or otherwise, so rather we just try to do it the hardcore way. The fun way. You know? My only rant was about how how uh, I believe slimes are a little too scarce now when you made an item that uses slime balls. It was great when slimes were everywhere. Oh, and there's the sheep, of course. Now the sheep appears when it's daytime. But I'm only going to get one wool anyway, so I'm not even going to worry about it. That's the pit. I've got to go back up there. Or is it? Or is that a new pit? Huh. Who knows? No, it can't be, because... I don't know. These caves are so messed up. Wait a minute. I was going to say, is that a dungeon? But that's cobblestone I put down. Get paranoid and weirded out. Anyway, this is a new entrance right here, and this one looks more dangerous than the last one. So I'm going to go up this way. And see how close I am to the first one. Good. There's that. The music cuts out like that, by the way, because of the stuff I have running. Do 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 do. There's going to be mobs out here, but they're, they're you know, tolerable. Oh, wait, that is the cave I went into, or is it? No, it's over here, or something. Yeah, something like this. Doesn't matter. Oh, there's one. Whew, that was close. Too much lag, man. I couldn't, couldn't do anything. What do we got going on over here? Anyway, I was observing there is a floating island out here. This is another big one. 
I think the map generator just straight up is, is annihilated, man. My, my map generator, anyway. I don't know about yours, but I've been getting some pretty ridiculously disfigured maps. I mean, you can tell that the chunk generator is just not lining up. <gasps> There's the reeds! Well, some of them. There's three. So we need... No, I need about... What is it? Eight pieces of paper, so... Twenty-four total. I mean, look at all this, man. There's another floating island. That ain't... I mean, oh, crap. Oh, I should have let him blow up. Yeah. Because that gravel came from there. Yeah, the daytime is happening, so it's... Yeah. See, these are really cool. Oh, dead skeleton. But, uh... Oh, there's another one. Can always use the bones. Can never have too many bones, man. I don't care how much of a pain skeletons are. Bones are always welcome. I'm trying to run around here now. Ooh, this is uh, Chill Series 1 on MGI Album 4. This is a good one. Just ni nice and relaxing. Alright. So what's going on over here? Epicness or failure? <laughs> Looks like epicness to me. Yeah, I know my map generator is, is crapping out on me. Or maybe in general. Yeah, see, look at all this. I mean, this is really awesome. This is not necessarily a crapped out map gen. Darn it, I keep doing that! Wow, look at all this, man. This is completely covered. Unreal. Is that a dungeon over there? No, that's just the, the light from the opening getting so paranoid from this stuff. But yeah, this is completely encased in stone. This is a nice area. Aren't you glad you kept watching? Yeah, look at all this, man. Where are we at now? 769546. I'm so close to the base, but I have never seen any of this stuff before. This is insane. Let's light it up. Find out just how awesome it really is. Wow. Nice music for this discovery too. Yeah, this is this is amazing. See that video of the beauty of Minecraft? Well, you're looking at it right here. This is awesome. I'll be coming back here. See this kind of stuff you can't find with the map. You just gotta explore and discover for yourself. Alright, now let's see what's over this way. So you see this epic waterfall. Whoa, an epic skeleton. Oh, I had arrows. Just a couple, though. Now I'm out. So we're going to have to... Oh, yes, yes, come out here. Burn! Burn! I'm going to get behind the tree. When he comes calling... Yeah, he's right there. He's hiding. Nice. That's how you do... Oh, look at that. He dropped bones and arrows. <laughs> I was trying to get under here to try to scope this area out and see what kind of awesome is under here. Looks like it's a little smaller than the other one, but it's still sweet. Plus, I don't want any more surprises. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Go this direction, or this, yeah, this way, because this is the way to spawn is, allegedly. Oh, hello, mushroom. Oh, I can make stew now. Actually, I think I can plant these mushrooms now and let them propagate epically. Ooh, there's a wolf. What do you say we try to get another wolf, huh? I can spare some bone meal for that. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he loves me. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Now I got a pet, man. Oh, yeah. Let's hope this one doesn't die on me. I will feed it, but at the same time, it's uh, kind of tough. Now, what is all this? Where am I? Where am I, Notch? And what have you done with my map generator? Look at it all, man. It's crazy. There's, like, levels to this thing now. Jeepers. Look at all this epicness. Well, looks like the next episode is going to be our map, because I got caught up in too much awesomeness time. So I'll see you then. 
and thanks for watching.